we have our roof truss assembly fully completed and there's a few characteristics that we'd like to point out. First being the raised heel profile on the roof truss. This allows us to get our full insulation layer to the outside edge of our walls. In standard construction, that top cord would come down and hit right here, preventing full insulation to the outside edge. This creates a thermal bridge around the entire perimeter of the home, creating cold surfaces and potential mold issues in a home. The other key characteristic is that we've made our air barrier from our wall to the underside of our truss connection. We first installed a flange of sheathing before we put on our roof trusses to make this transition a lot simpler. And we're using a long screw through the top plate to the underside of our truss to make our structural connection. Standard construction, you'd be using a hurricane strap and this would be a very time consuming process of air sealing around that strap. So with this method, we're able to make a very clean transition from our wall to the underside of our truss with our air barrier and also make our insulation layer continuously thick to the outside edge. This is a very important detail because standard construction, we end up having air or ice damming around the perimeter of the home. Two reasons, one being of air leakage, this being a very prone location to air leakage, and then the other thing is that you basically have no insulation at the exterior perimeter of a home, and this is why we end up with a lot of ice on our roofs around the perimeter. So in this sort of construction, we avoid all that, and we make a very robust system that's gonna last a very long time.